Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool text behind a moving object effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, here is the final edit right here. You have Saquon Barkley um, running, and you can see the text is right behind him, but he's going like right past the text. The text is like behind um, him right here. So you can see right here, the text is still behind him. He'll move, and the text kind of stays behind him. And as he moves, the text kind of reveals. It's definitely a really cool um, effect. And I'm going to go over basically how to create the effect. Um, right here so let's over, go over here to the example right here as you can see here is the video right here with obviously um, no text layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on control T right here it's basically a shortcut for titles again all you want to do is press on um, or just hold down control T to create a title instead of going up to the titles um, over there so let's go ahead and I'll just type in right here go to the text over here and I'll just type in um, uh, Saquon obviously that's uh, that's the, the name of the uh, football player right here obviously you can put any text you want I'll change it to maybe like 350 um, right here we'll go ahead and just change a font that I really like um, is Futura and then I'll just change it to bold right here I think that looks um, uh, pretty good right here so let's head over here and I'll go ahead and maybe type in um, actually you know what I'll do first I'll go ahead and head over here just so I can remember the exact number right here so I typed in negative um, 115 so let's type in here negative 115 right there and I'll go ahead just for the sake of the video just to kind of keep it similar I'll go ahead and head over here to the color and then I'll just change the color um, to yellow right here and that's basically so far the pretty much effect now if you don't want to do the text behind moving object this is what the video would look like it's still a cool effect as this is a generic text effect but maybe you want to spice up the video and make it look a lot cooler but what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the effects panel right here you're going to go to mask right here and then apply a draw mask onto the text layer it's important that it goes on to the text layer and not onto um, the actual video so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in right here and as you can see right here you can't really place it because of this text um, right here so what you want to do is you want to click on P for position right here and I'll go ahead and just cut out the person right here and you're basically just cutting around the outline um, of the person of course this is going to be you know a really rough um, selection it's gonna be a really really rough selection right here just basically for the sake it's just basically for the sake of the tutorial right here so you basically can see right here you're applying it onto the text layer right here and then cutting around the person right here then what you want to do is you want to head over to masks and there you go you have inverted the mask on right here and of course you can adjust this to your liking right here so let's go ahead and click on fit right here now let's go ahead and play now i'm sure if you are following step by step and you get to this um point and you say okay that's all i need to do right not necessarily if i go ahead and play on the video right here you'll see why you need to do a little bit more so i'll play the video right here but as you can see uh, that doesn't quite create the effect i want so as soon as i as soon as I go to the beginning right here, you can see it starts to cut off. So what you're basically going to do, now I'm not going to go through every single one because that would take forever, but what you want to do is you just want to zoom in right here. You want to click on the text right here. You want to go to the draw mask right here. You want to go to the control points, keyframe the control points, keyframe the position, keyframe the rotation, and then keyframe the scale right here. And what you're just basically going to do is you're going to go frame by frame. Okay, so we want to put the draw mask around here a little bit like this. So we'll go frame by frame. So something like this. Uh, okay, we need to put it around the person right there. You know, so on and so forth. Um, let's go ahead and just take the mask out here. I'm just going to do one or two frames. Okay, let's skip a couple frames. Um, let's skip a couple frames right here. Okay, we want to still have the person show, so let's move the draw mask um, over here just a little bit, move it over here. We want we don't want it to be over the person right here, and there you go, something like that. Let's go, it'll be another frame. We want to move the draw mask 
over here and you basically just keep on doing this over and over again until you have the draw mask basically cutting on the person um, right there and that's basically kind of like the the basics of how to do it obviously it's a complete mess but you take a lot more time and effort into this effect okay so let's head over to the actual final edit right here i'm going to go over kind of what it looks like when you put a lot more time and effort into it right here okay so here is the video right here it's just a normal video here is the text layer right here um and basically as you can see right here i cut out the person right here and then i inverted the mask right here change the feather to negative three change the fall off to 100 you could of course adjust this to your liking now, as you can see right here the control points position rotation scale and the control points they're all keyframe the mask is keyframe right here and i'm going to go ahead and just zoom in right here and then i'll just basically go frame by frame so you can see what's happening right here so i'm going to go frame by frame right here and as you can see the mask is completely tracking to saquon barkley's um, person right here as you can see and that's basically just going frame by frame obviously it's not perfect but you can take a little more time and effort a little more time into this effect right here but that's literally it as you can see watch the draw mask and it's literally just tracking around saquon barkley um right here and that's quite frankly literally all you have to do is you're just taking the draw mask cutting around the person inverting the mask and you're just basically kind of going like frame by frame um right here so kind of go frame by frame right there and there you go the mask is completely tracking um with saquon barkley right there and that's, that's really how you create um the effect too now again you want to add some feather and fall off just to help make it a little look a little bit nice now obviously you don't want to add too much feathering or it's going to be a little bit whack you can also go ahead and take it uh, click on the clip you can also right click on a control point and make it smooth if you want to kind of create like a rounded edge i found that that helps the mask a little bit be a little bit better when you kind of create some really cool um smooth edges right there um, and also I just put moderate motion blur 2 on it just to help make it look a little bit nicer but that's literally it take the mask apply it on the text layer right here invert the mask change the feather change the fall off and then all you want to do is head over here to the control points and transform keyframe the mask and then go frame by frame and make sure the mask is tracking around the subject um, right here and there you go that's literally how you create this really cool effect yes it is time consuming probably took two three four hours to create this effect so get ready to kind of put put a lot of time into this effect right here but it is 100% worth it. I think it's really cool obviously you can put a lot more time and effort to make it look um, even nicer but this is just kind of a tutorial and example but kind of want to go over the basics of how to create um, this effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Vinyl Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.